you've played with uh, some, you played against Giannis, and, with Giannis and against Giannis, yes. and you've also played against some of the most famous Greek guards, Papa Lucas, uh, I mean, remember the name, Dimit Dimitiantis. Diamantidis. Diamantidis, yes, sorry. Uh, do you see any similarities in their game or influences uh, in Giannis's game uh, between th those two and, and Giannis? Um, I think th those players were great because um, they, they, they were just so competitive um, and they had a big passion and uh, commitment for their country and I respect that and I've always respected that. Uh, same with Spanolis, uh, those players, just um, just great, great commitment, great pride, and, and I think Giannis has that also for Greece. Um, and then, um, then yeah, you, you can say that uh, playmaking of uh, Papa Lucas and uh, Spanolis, uh, Giannis has grown into that type of playmaker. Giannis has such a unique ability. Uh, to, to play this game and to physically overpower uh, people um, that it's, it's, I think it's in a unique category because of no, not many people in the history have, are, are able to do or have been able to do what he does. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he can grow into a better player um, and be more of a complete player and, uh, and, and let's see where his ceiling is at, right? And that's why in the article I said, Let's enjoy the journey, and let's not try to compare him with any any players um, from from the present or the past. Um, but um, you know, I hope that Giannis uh, also dedicates um, time and effort into his national team to give uh, successes and and um, in great moments to his country, um, because that's something that I've I've been able to do, and it's hard to do when you devote yourself so much into the NBA, you have long runs into the playoffs. It's, it's, it's tough because there's only so much that your body can take. And at some point your body will, will, uh, will start uh, knocking at the door and, and telling you, well, uh, it's gonna make you, you know, pay the price sooner or later in different ways. <laughs> and your mind too, it's because you, you don't get to take a break uh, mentally from, from the game. Uh, but, uh, but let's see, hopefully he'll find a balance and uh, you know, he knows how, if I can help him, uh, giving him advice, uh, his, his race in a great way to so give credit to his parents. Do you think that that's something about him, his, his personality, that mm -hmm. makes him, him unique? Yeah. What is his most unique talent, or unique personality right. trait? Yeah, because he has a certain, uh, I think, humility to him. It's just the, the way he was raised, where he comes from, uh, how he grew up, you know, he, he appreciate things in a different way, right? And, and everyone is different. Uh, acknowledges everyone, talks with respect to people, and, um, and now let's see, let's see if he can turn to one of the all-time greats in the sport, which he has a chance to do, but that uh, comes with team success and winning championships. And that's uh, you know, still very young, long, long way to go, but uh, you know, that's gotta be there. Now that Dirk is officially re retired, yes. uh, and you and him are two icons of European basketball, mm -hmm. uh, do you feel a little bit lonely now that you know, don't have your, own, your German counterpart? No, no, I mean, not, not lonely. Um, over the years, when you play this long, you, you see a lot of players come and go. Um, there's not many players like Dirk. I, I probably, I don't know, could say he's one of a kind. You know, he's one of those players. Um, that he's been able to also play for 20, 21, is it? 21 years, 21 seasons in the NBA, which is incredible. I'm trying to play my 19th night next year, right? So, uh, so yeah, it'll, it'll be weird to face the Dallas Mavericks without Dirk uh, on the floor or on the bench when when we're about to step in. And we had a lot of a lot of battles. Um, and it, here in the NBA internationally, and it's been uh, it's been incredible. It's been a blessing because um, when you when you play against this caliber of a player, it always kind of motivates you and pushes you to to be better, to to bring your game to a higher level, to push yourself. Um, so it makes you better. Um, so you can always you can only thank 
uh, players like Dirk um, for what they've done for the game, uh, for their commitment, um, their resilience. I mean, you could say that the last couple of years or so, Dirk physically, you could tell that they, he was struggling and probably wasn't the most fun, but he still pushed through. He still pushed through, he still loved the game, he still did whatever it took just to be on the floor. Um, and he had, I think, some incredible moments as well and some inspiring moments, I think, uh, for, for the younger generations. Um, so, you know, just, just, just thank him, I think, also how um, all the maps could uh, give him that tribute at the, at the last game, bringing some of the best players in the history of the game. That's pretty remarkable. Um, so he deserves, I think, everything he gets, uh, he's getting and he will get uh, as an outstanding and unique basketball player. And I will uh, miss him on the floor for as long as I play. I don't know if I'm going to play, how much longer I'm going to play, but for as long as I play, he will be, uh, he will be missed because he uh, is one of the kind.